Hey guys, it's James and Gerald here. We are at the Hollywood Bowl in the O2 in London, and we're here to play Mario Kart VR. Those words are exciting together. Mario Kart. Very, very exciting together. VR. What well, actually is it? So, it is a bespoke, built from the ground up version of Mario Kart, the classic arcade racer, specifically built to make use of the HTC Vive headset and the HTC Vive trackers too. So, we're going to go in, I'm going to beat James, and he's going to be crying. Not going to happen. So here we are in the Mario Kart booth. This is the HTC Vive, which is the headset you'll be wearing if you come along and try out this experience. You may be more used to seeing this headset in the room tracking scale stuff, where you connect up to a PC, but here you are just sat down and it also works really well for that. But one thing to notice is that this is the HTC Vive, not the Vive Pro, which is more recent. But so far we found the tracking on this really, really smart. The trackers themselves are one of the reasons why the HTC Vive is so well suited to arcade experiences. Just in the same way as the headset itself can be tracked in 3D space, so can the trackers. However, because the trackers are kind of like a modular thing, they can be attached to any peripheral you can imagine. It allows the HTC Vive system to follow their movement. Now in the Mario Kart arcade experience, you can grab a shell, lob it at Bowser, grab a banana, throw it back at Peach. <laughs> It gives you a bit more physicality in the Mario Kart universe. Mario won again! The computer again! We can't keep losing to the computer. We've got to beat yeah. the computer once. So, as you can see, Joel's still loving it. Um, we've played five games of Mario Kart now, five rounds, five different goes. How many goes did you win? Uh, I won all five. Did you? You won all five? I won all five. That's somehow I, I won, won one, five. so I don't understand how you won all five. But yeah, That's um, he's a liar. <laughs> how have you found it so far? I really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I think it really nicely captures like the feeling of Mario Kart. But it had that same sort of charm, that same sort of ease yeah. to play. You can pick totally. this up, you can get your mum or dad on this, and they'd be like blown away by it. And if you're a Mario Kart fan, you feel like you're really yeah. quite in it. See, the first round, I was kind of a big gutter. though. I couldn't do any of the, the drifting, those kind of elements they've added in later games. Yeah. But you're right, this is the game that you want to play in an arcade, and this is the game you want yeah. to be at a little bit more easy and essential. Yeah. It's kind of, it is basically just like a normal driving simulator yeah. with a VR headset on. With the, the weapons. Nice. But then you add in the weapons, and yeah. then you add in the cool, you add in the, the Mario Kart universe, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And it, really, it does really feel like you're there in that universe. It yeah. really nails that kind of, that sense of place, and yeah. all of like the little Easter eggs mucking around as well. Yeah, I yeah. really enjoyed it. I yeah. think it'll be good fun. And I think you do need to play it more than once to actually notice yeah. any of them, really, because you're still just so overwhelmed that first time you're playing it. So we're here at London's O2, but it's also going to be travelling around to other places up and down the UK. We're going to play it soon in Leeds, in an as-yet-unbuilt VR zone and in Tunbridge Wells too. It costs $7.99 a go, and it's well worth the money. Mario Kart. Wahoo! <laughs> Wahoo! That's a really good impression. Wahoo! <laughs> there we go. <laughs>